that after break. Something a bit different. Cutting edge sports science right here in Ireland. We're going to have a look. Welcome back. Well, I'm always on the lookout for innovations in sport that will give a team an edge, an advantage. I also believe that the next great advances in sports performance will be in how we use our mind while performing. So when I heard about a new technique that was developed by the Canadian Olympic ski team and used by AC Milan and Chelsea, I was very interested. The techniques about controlling stress while performing in elite level sport. What I didn't know was the technique was available right here in Dublin. Of all the opponents most athletes will ever face, the toughest will often be themselves. Winning the penalty shootout or slotting the season-defining kick is as much about self-belief as it is the skill and technique. So is there anything sports people can do to help them operate at peak physical performance by managing their stress? I visited Dublin's Life Balance Centre to find out. Dr. Tammy Verlin ross is a chiropractor who uses the latest technology to identify and correct nervous system imbalances. A nervous system that's out of balance is bad news for both mind and body. Reverse that imbalance and the more lightly match winning kicks like this one become. The first challenge is identifying whether the nervous system is functioning normally. Tammy does this by measuring stress levels using the Neuro Infinity instrument. There are only about 60 of them in use worldwide and they're state of the art. But to fully demonstrate what it's capable of, we need a guinea pig. Stress test lasts about 12 minutes and apart from the computer's American accent, it's completely painless. Tammy uses the test to compare how the brain responds and recovers to three different types of stress challenges. Particularly from your test, um, breathing would be a, a big area to change. Muscle balance, learning how to relax shoulders and how to balance your shoulder muscles also. Uh, I think some heart rate and heart rate variability training, so learning how to get better heart rate variability, so better efficiency of the heart. And also some brainwave training would be really good as well. So we can move on through those areas, giving you some tools yourself to train your nervous system to better deal with stress. So, mixed results for me. Tension in my shoulders is clearly something I need to work on. But how can this technology be of help to high performance athletes? What they'll do is actually get the athletes to um, see themselves in, uh, to watch videos or to be able to see themselves in their actual sporting moments and then learn how to control their responses around that. Now they're also not just doing that, they are also looking at it from an overall function, you know, getting themselves at their peak performance. So even getting the actual results off the off the field, off the yes. snow, whether you're talking about the Canadian Olympic team, off the ski slopes, whatever. It's about important about getting you at peak performance and being able to recover. That's really key, so recover at your best so that when you do go out and perform, you are at your peak performance and then you can take it to the next level of being able to really, you know, get into the particular instances where you're not at your best or not for performing at your peak and train yourself to work at your best at those levels as well. It's an approach that has been successfully used by Italian football giants AC Milan who say the technology has given players greater control of how they respond to stress on and off the field. Sometimes people think if you're fit, you're healthy. Well, not necessarily. You can be fit and still your body's not dealing with stress. Just because you're out, you're able to run and do that. It might keep you able to perform in your sport, but you may not be at you know, at your healthiest as well. So we want to, the key thing is to make sure that we're getting, responding to stress in the most appropriate way, responding and recovering. I think recovery really is the key. And then with this technology, what we're able to do is take it that step further and then look at, okay, can we train in particular instances, you know, look at, you know, if it's in rugby, can we let players watch themselves miss penalties, score penalties, whatever it is, and then actually see how their body responds and train themselves to respond differently. Now, the crucial question. Exactly how stressed is Matt Williams? Well, luckily, Tammy hasn't forgotten where her loyalties lie. <laughs> 
Well, since he's um, a fellow Australian, Australians don't get stressed. <laughs> we handle stress extremely well. <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> Frano, uh, uh, I put these down to one percenters. You get a whole lot of these one percenters and they can make a difference. Um, it's very, very interesting stuff. And also the chiropractic uh, issue. Chiropractic is quite common in Australia. Most sporting teams would have that chiropractic aspect, even though it's not used here in Australia, in uh, in Ireland. But uh, a really interesting branch of of, of sport that's, that I think is going to grow and be be more of it. You're worried about what I'm going to say next. <laughs> yeah. that's a, I, I'm not worried. I've got a fair idea. <laughs> no, I, I um, was a little red on that chart. Um, <laughs> Well, it's tight. You couldn't give us a rub, just the <laughs> brain waves. Um, yeah. well, I, I look in, in terms of, of performance. Uh, I, I've you know, okay, maybe you're in you're in hotels and you, know, you play test matches or you play Heineken Cup, and I, I woken up, you know, and, and whatever it is, even through the day and the anxiety levels that you know you, you experienced beforehand. And if there was something to, I mean, the best matches that I've ever played are the ones where I'm just completely relaxed you know and if you have some form of dealing with stress and anxiety levels uh, before and I don't you have a template for doing that you know, I, I mean one percent geez it could be you know it could be twenty percent because you know it's it's an inhibitor stress is a real inhibitor on, on performance and uh, I mean if if you can come up with something that can, can negate or neutralize the, the effect of stress on your performances. I mean, that could be a, you know, mm. whether whether you could actually say, yeah, that is, is absolutely proof, you know, yeah. proof to work. You yeah. know, it's a, I mean, I, I wasn't there, you didn't bring me along, no. so I'm very annoyed. But, uh, <laughs> we you can know. sort it out, maybe you have for a stress test there. No, it's the same thing, it's not a, a it's not a, a one, you do it once and that's, you know, you're cured. It's, it's about teaching yourself how to deal with stress. And it's interesting, if you're getting uh, Olympic sports and elite football clubs looking at this sort of stuff, they're the people that have brought in a lot of the original techniques, um, especially the German football teams and the Italian football teams. They tend to be more accepting of this uh, type of, of thinking than, than perhaps the English clubs. So, and certainly, you know, the Italian influence in Chelsea that, that got in. But, uh, you know, it's something to, to get you to think about. And one more, a couple of other things we want to show you here, just to get your brain waves going there as well. A little bit of rugby league. We missed it last week. Oh, it's the time.